Hello, my name is Moonget and welcome to this quick video where I want to clarify and further explain how and when to spend your scrolls, uh, use your tools when going for the calendar in the upcoming archaeology event. Now in my event guide video I go over how the uh, calendar works, I go over how to optimize for daily specials while going for the calendar, so if you are not familiar with that I would recommend checking out that first. But what I will do in this video is that I want to go further into uh, how uh, to spend your scrolls and more importantly how many scrolls can you spend during one day when the daily special you really want is the option. And then towards the end I will also explain or go over how many daily gems you need to pick up if you plan to spend diamonds for a second ferris wheel. So let me go into a new spreadsheet here. Uh, I'll probably link this uh, down in, below if you want. Uh, so to recap what I go over in my event guide video, my recommendation is that you pick up a daily gem 13 days uh, for the calendar, and that you pick up uh, gem shards and use those for the remaining 8 days. So you need 5 gem shards per gem, uh, so uh, in total you need 40 gem shards. Uh, and my basic my basic re recommendation is that you go for uh, that you pick up twenty from the mini game and twenty from daily challenges. Now this number here, twenty from the mini game, is quite conservative. Uh, when I played on beta, I managed to pick up thirty seven gems in total, uh, so twenty four additional ones here uh, from the mini game. Uh, but uh, if I did more tablets and if I picked up a few more instants and so on, I think I could have gotten more here as well. But I'm just going to use the number 20 here just to be safe. This is a low estimate, but just to be safe. So the important question, uh, how many uh, scrolls or how many tools can you spend uh, during one day? Can you spend all your tools on one day where when the daily special you want is active? So the way I'll go over this is through an example here. So let's say on day 12 of the event, the daily special you want comes out, the Sentinel Outpost, for example. Uh, now let's say on the previous 11 days you have managed to pick up 7 gems, daily gems, and you have missed out on a daily gem 4 days. That means that 4 out of these 8 days where you spend gem shards have been spent. Or in other words, that means that you have four remaining days where you do not need to pick up a daily gem for the remain remainder of the event. And that's the important thing to keep in mind here. Because that means that if you spend all your scrolls here, you do not need to pick up any daily gems on any of these days. And that is four days, and in those four days you will have been, have been able to pick up at least 600 scrolls, but probably more. And with those scrolls, after those four days, and the additional scrolls you get on the last five days, you will be definitely be able to pick up the remaining daily gems from these five days. So basically, my recommendation is that when the daily special you want comes up, you spend as many scrolls as you have until you hit this mark here, so 20 gem shards from the minigame. Now, if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, uh, you could go up to, I don't know, 25 gems from the minigame, for example. Uh, but some, somewhere uh, between, I'd say, 20 and 25 gems, uh, gem shards from the minigame. So, until you hit that mark, you can spend as many scrolls as you want uh, on any day. So, I would recommend that you keep track of how many gem shards you have picked up both from that day, but also from previous days, if you picked up any gem shards, shards on any of these days. And then basically, spend uh, you can spend as much as you want on any day, as long as you haven't picked up more than those 20, 25 uh, gem shards. And when you hit that mark, then you need to save your scrolls to pick up daily gems for the remaining days. And as I mentioned, here I have spent four days uh, where I did not pick up a daily gem, which means I still have four days where I do not need to pick up a daily gem here. So that's basically how I would think about it. You can spend until you hit this limit on any day, uh, and then you need to keep track of how many days you have not picked up a daily gem, which you can see in the calendar, and then keep a track of that and know that you can miss up to eight days in total. So as long as you have not missed uh, uh, that many days, you are good to go. 
So hopefully that uh, explained uh, or clarified some of what I went over in my previous video. And lastly, I also want to quickly go over uh, how many how you need to how many daily gems you need to pick up if you want to spend diamonds for a second wheel. Uh, when going for two wheels, you will spend roughly nine thousand worth of scrolls. Uh, so uh, for your tools, uh, which means you should be able to pick up around 970 uh, gem shards. So that means that roughly speaking, you need to pick up a daily gem only three to four days, and then the remaining 17 to 18 days you can spend, uh, you, you can unlock using gem shards from the minigame and from the daily challenges. So here, if you get 70 from minigame and 20 from daily challenges, that is 90. 90 divided by 5 is 18, so 18 days you need another 3 gems uh, from uh, which you can pick up from the minigame as a daily gem. So I would uh, yeah go for 3 to 4 daily gems and the rest of them uh, from the minigame and this should be really really simple to do uh, because as I went over in my last video uh, from one daily special you should be able to pick up gems for 3 days so in theory you should be able to spend all your scrolls on one single day and still get enough daily gems to do this. So when going for a second wheel, the calendar should be really, really simple to unlock. You shouldn't have any trouble at all doing it. So you definitely do want to do it when going for, uh, for a second wheel. So I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Hope it clarified uh, how to spend your scrolls. And with that, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the future.